Yeah, a little gray and I got a little firecracker too, man. <clears throat> yeah, I got that. Had the SPC mod done to it and all the, you know what I mean. And plus, it's got wide audio, and it's got a, uh, it's got it all. It's got it all. It's just, <laughs> it's overkill, man. I tell you what, man. The inside of these uh, 148s don't even look like a 148 in there. It's got these big monstrous stuff in there, man. <laughs> But you know what, man? They sound pretty clean, man. Dude, I'm really not throwing a whole bunch of uh, nothing in here, man. They just, uh, you can wide them out, dude, and it's just incredible what they sound like. Yeah, Roger Owen, I think I saw in your, uh, your meter at one point, you were, uh, it was doing, you could whatever, and it was still doing four or five on the bird, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. No strain, no pain, bro. No strain, no pain. Yeah, this thing gets up there, man. I mean, if I put it on a swing meter, this thing be going crazy. No, uh, no, this thing stands up, man. <clears throat> it stands up, and it's, uh, like I said, it's a 148. Someone gave this 148 to me, bro. And, uh, it wasn't working. And, uh, old Dago, he played around. Oh, I, I figured it out. So he's like, all right, what do you want done to it? I want it wide, 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 baby. <laughs> so he went and did all the junk to it, man. And uh, dude, it's a, uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful little radio, man. Rajo, always do like the sound of it. It's real. I, uh, I've told you before and messed around with it. It's a little quiet right now, but it's crystal clean. Definitely rocking and rolling, man. I have another question for you. Um, I thought you mentioned at one point you had some measurements for a, uh, uh, like a 104C, the Mako flat side, four element. A buddy of mine's putting one up, and I, I told him to wait a little bit and research it. Didn't you tell me at one point you had some measurements, or did I overhear you? Yeah, man, let me, uh, I have to find in my ear. I'll turn the audio up for you, homeboy. I could turn the audio up. I can even get it louder and louder if you want. But, uh, yeah, uh, I got it on a flash drive, man. And, uh, I gotta find that flash drive. I was looking for it the other day. I got a lot of very important stuff on that flash drive. But, uh, <clears throat> when I come across it, man, I'm, I was looking for it actually today, too, man. Kind of been kicking myself, man. Uh, shoot, man, you know, the kids... I got the kids, and they just love to just grab things. Dude, uh, dude, I had lost my keys for a couple of weeks. My daughter had uh, hid my keys in a, a shoebox. <laughs> dude, I didn't have no extra keys. Oh, dude. Boy, I love the kids, man, but <sighs> just little stuff like that, brother. How's the audio now? Is it loud enough? Oh, uh, yeah, plenty loud. I think you, you, yourself, you'd bring it down a little bit, but, uh, yeah, definitely uh, pumped her right back up there. Yeah, I haven't uh, the, uh, the hiding of the keys or anything yet. Uh, we're just on shoes at this point. You'll find one shoe on one side of the house and the matching shoe on the other side of the house, and that's after half an hour looking for it. <laughs> But you know, I'm, I'm only at 15 months with this little girl. I know I have many more surprises to look forward to. Oh, yeah, man. I have four kids, so. I got four kids, homeboy, and there's uh, just stages, but it's all good, man. It's all good stuff, but. <laughs> when stuff goes missing, homeboy, you know, what I do is just start throwing things, you know what I mean? And then that's where you'll find it. Just throw stuff, and that's how you'll find the stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, it's good hearing you, homeboy. Damn it, uh, yeah, last, uh, last time I was up there, uh, old Skyhawk was up there. And, uh, dude, he's like, yeah, go ahead, keep my truck. <laughs> I was half tempted, man, but, uh, they had me doing, uh, they had me doing the Watergate up there, man. They had me doing the doggone Watergate up there, but, uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna do some video gating up there, man. I'm gonna. <laughs> make a little movie and stuff. Yeah, that'd be very cool. Definitely interesting. Yeah, I don't, man, I don't talk to Skyhawk too much anymore. He, uh, 
we kind of split our ways, just doing our different things. Once I got married, it was uh, <laughs> not as much playtime, and uh, just kind of came out of the hobby a bit. You know, it was really when the DX was on the on its low. We went two years and not a single bit of DX came through here. I, I would I would hear of other places, you know, out east had some and and down south had some, but we had absolutely nothing for two years. I mean, I left the radio on, I'd, I'd turn it up so I could hear it, but absolutely nothing. This is really what keeps me into it. I could care less about talking local. I don't do the, the, the local hilltop competition things anymore. So, uh, glad to have the skip starting to roll back, man. We've had north and south pretty damn consistent each week, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's getting ready. And it's definitely revving up, homeboy. I remember that time. I remember that time, man. You guys were having that shootout, and that girl was doing the Watergate. And you guys are three, two, one, go. Then I was, what, 40, 40, 40, 40, and they played it back, and they heard me in there. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was good times, man. Definitely good times. You, uh, you did place in our local. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. We had good times. Been all over the state, and I had, uh, you know, camping in the summers. I always remember reaching you at, hell, it was... 11, 12, maybe even 1 o'clock in the morning, the skip conditions had come in, and I'd hear that old 40-40 in the dock of the bay, and I kind of just drove away from camp and clicked all the switches on and had ourselves a conversation. So it might just be back, and, you know, as the, the theory goes, the 7 or 11 year cycle, when it's on its up and up at this point, it's going to be pretty damn interesting, man. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, matter of fact, we just had a last night, a day before, a nice little sunspot. So we're actually going to have. That's what we're talking on right now. This is just. This is just the beginning of it right here. This new little uh, shot. So. Yeah, man. No, those are good times. I'll never forget that time I called you, man, and you said you was at Joe's shop. You went out to the Carolina break. I was like, you got a radio there. You said, yeah, it's on the Super Bowl, man, but the. There's 30 dBs in the radio, bro. I don't know. Remember that? And I keyed up. And you're like, oh, my God, I hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And I think he was on this uh, ground plane or something also. He doesn't run any power there. He just likes listening. But, yeah, it was absolutely in the corner. Just mayhem. And I do remember that, man. <laughs> it's amazing. It, it, it just amazes me every time. Talking here, talking there. I just heard 250 from here, and that's pretty short skip. I mean, that's, oh, three, four hundred miles or something. You know, I heard Gabby Girl just a couple weeks ago or something, and she's even closer. So we're starting to get the short and the long and all over the place. Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's getting ready to pop off, dude. It's getting ready to pop off, and like you said, dude, for that long down period, dude, I think I went into a state of depression, bro. I mean, I damn near went into a state of depression, bro. I mean, dude, I was talking local and just uh, always had the radio on like you, man, just listening and listening and listening. And it's just horrible, man. But now it's coming back. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm actually uh, might be moving out to the valley here, bro. Might be moving out to like around Modesto, and if I do, bro, I'm uh, I'm looking for a place with a, just a little bit of land, man. I'm actually uh, gonna buy a, I'm gonna buy one of them M2 antennas, I think, R quad, one or the other. But I was thinking about that seven element, that 50 foot boom, and I'm gonna get a couple a uh, couple steel tubes, man, because I figured that if this is gonna be the cycle of all cycles. If this is going to be the cycle of all cycles, then you know what, dude? I'm going out with a bang, dude. I'm going to buy a... I'm looking to buy a, a couple of those uh, GS-35 tubes, Russian tubes, and put it out there on that big seven-element beam, bro. And just lay that freaking hammer down. <laughs> oh, Rajo, man. Yeah, I got a little bit of property out here myself where I'm at, and... Uh...